should Chicago remain a sanctuary city? Do aldermen who hear about migrant sites in their ward late in the process have a legitimate complaint? Just some of the back and forth questions on display at a feisty city council meeting today dominated by the migrant debate. CBS 2's political reporter Chris Ty with more on what went down. City Hall tight-lipped on reports the Johnson administration has toured the old Museum of Broadcast Communication here in River North to house migrants. This comes just hours after council members pulled a vote to acquire this old Jewel grocery store site in Morgan Park, as alderman after alderman turned cold on the idea, arguing the city gets too far, too fast on migrant sites inside wards while boxing out residents. Our communities don't know and by the time we hear it, we're being told it's too late. People who have common sense are finally starting to stand up and do the right thing. I'm confident that as a city, we will get to the other side of this conversation. It's a conversation Mayor Johnson is taking to Washington Thursday, along with four other mayors in similar boats. Look, Chicago is leaning in. We have borne the brunt of the responsibility here. That's not an equitable distribution of how government should cooperate. Johnson pushed back on allegations the city excludes the community while doubling down on his pledge to get migrants in base camps by winter. It snowed, but winter is not here yet. The federal government and the state have to do more. <laughs> the people of Chicago, we have been incredibly resilient and patient. And clearly that patience is running short. A city short on patients and long on migrants, looking for a measured approach that many here say is badly lacking in Chicago. The anger that, we've, that we are feeling from the community isn't because of the migrants. It's because the community has been shut out from this process completely. They've been told that you will hear about it when we're done. The mayor was asked three times about the Museum of Broadcast Communication site. He just would not budge on confirming whether it's a reality. He says his team looks at lots of spaces, but the alderman for that ward, Brendan Riley, saying, quote, the administration's careful use of semantics, dishonesty by omission, and total disregard for public transparency around potential sites for migrant housing is not good government. It is wrong, end quote. As for whether residents will get to vote on whether to keep Chicago a sanctuary city, that is still not ironed out. We'll hear more on that in the days and weeks ahead. Live in the newsroom, Chris Tide, CBS 2 News. Busy day at City Hall. Chris, thank you.